Hey guys, Chase here coming to you from beautiful Nepal today. This is Trekking FAQs, keeping you informed and in shape for the mountains. On this channel I share with you my travel advice, fitness tips specifically for trekking, as well as gear review videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video I'm reviewing the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork. It's one of my favourite trekking poles on the market at the moment. And I'll be sharing with you the features that I really love about this pole as well as some of the things to avoid and things to look for when shopping for trekking poles. So without further ado, here's the review. Starting at the top, we've got a beautiful cork handle. This cork is so comfortable um, over long periods of time. If you think about it, this is gonna be in your hand for potentially six to 10 hours a day. Um, so cork wicks away sweat or um, more than likely probably absorbs it, but it is far more comfortable than uh, hanging onto foam all day. As we move down the pole, um, the cork gives way to a foam non-slip handle. So that's great when you need to uh, quickly change from an angle where it's a slight incline to a really uh, steep incline and then rather than changing the pole um, flick lock, you just grab at the lower handle. So that's super, super handy. And I'd be looking for that in any trekking pole that I bought also. In terms of uh, the structure of the pole, it's made from uh, aerospace alloy, which sounds very fancy. Uh, I don't know exactly where that comes from, but it is very, very light at only 510 grams for the set. One of the things that I recommend you look for straight away when buying trekking poles is that it is uh, using a flick lock system. Flick locks are a must have for trekking poles and Black Diamond have nailed it with uh, this pole in particular. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with uh, twist lock poles uh, that have very complex mechanisms within the pole that not only take up a lot of weight, but they can also fail and they do regularly. I've had a number of instances where I've had trekking poles break on me uh, in deep snowy conditions and it's the last thing you need. Uh, with a flick lock and what Black Diamond have done with this flick lock is made it very, very simple. So uh, there aren't any moving parts. There's nothing that can break and go wrong other than uh, the simple screw that holds the uh, flick lock together which is pretty hard to break in itself. In terms of the dimensions, it's uh, 74 centimeters long um, and can be up to uh, 140 centimeters long. Within the first few minutes of use, you will notice that they are very well made and you can feel that just in your hand as you're using the poles. Um, when you place your weight into the poles, they feel very sturdy. Um, there's a very small amount of flex um, and for something that's so light, it's surprisingly strong. At the other end of the pole, it comes with uh, a choice of baskets. You've got the standard hiking basket, which is uh, maybe four centimeters wide. You also get snow baskets with the poles. They are included and they're very easy to screw on and off. In terms of the tip, you've got a very strong anti-corrosive uh, carbide tip. What is surprising about these poles is it doesn't come with a cover uh, to go over the carbide tip, uh, which I thought was a little strange. But uh, as was pointed out in a comment on another one of my trekking pole videos, these uh, plastic tips have been showing up all over hikes. And there was one particular case of a guy in the Grand Canyon who'd noticed them all up and down the trail to the bottom of uh, the Grand Canyon. So it's what's really important is when you're using trekking poles is to remove that plastic uh, cap um, unless you're going to somewhere uh, like the Inca Trail where they actually require that you use that plastic cap so it doesn't damage the rock. In summary, these are a great all-season uh, multi-purpose pole that you can use summer, winter. They've got to be one of the best poles on the market and I highly recommend that if you are gonna do some trekking, especially in the Himalayas, that you uh, watch my other video on how to use trekking poles. There is many benefits of using them um, from staying injury free through to uh, exerting yourself less. 
To wrap up, I'm going to give the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork five mountains out of five. I don't think they could have done better making this trekking pole. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for checking out the review. If you do have a trek or a climb planned and you don't want to suffer through it and you want to be as fit as you could possibly be for that experience, check out our training programs. You can get a free week in the link below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. That really helps the channel. Uh, we're just getting started here at Trekking FAQs and we have a lot more to share with you. And if you have a question that you want answered that you can't find an answer to, put it in the comments section below and I'll answer you directly straight away. And if it's a common question, I'll make a video about it just like this one. That's all from me guys. There's a couple more videos here that you might find useful. Just remember Trekking FAQs is bringing you the best tips and advice so that you can have the best possible experience in the mountains. See you in the next video.